In this example, we're going to look at the option for setting tool cutting data within the tools themselves in FeatureCam 2012. Here we can see we have a sump plate part. And we've done a 2.5D side operation throughout the inside. What we have is we have three different tool choices to machine this. We can see the geometry of these tools by turning on the tooling information layer and zooming into. Here we can see we've got the three different tool types. A 90 degree insert with a cut depth of 10 millimeters, a 45 degree insert with a cut depth of 6.5 millimeters, and a 10 degree insert of 2 millimeters. Each one of these particular inserts will have a different feed rate associated with it and of course a different cut depth. But because they share similar geometry in terms of the general cutting data, we would get similar types of tool paths despite the fact that these tools cut in completely different ways. So let's look at the first toolpath, in this case the 90 degree, and run through centerline simulation. And you see we get the varying cut depths on the part. If I go into the options of this particular toolpath, into the roughing area, notice that we've created three different form tools. If I go into the properties of this, and go to overrides, you'll notice that we have overrides associated with the tool. In this case we can set the depth, the step over and the ramp angle. These can also be set under the feeds and speeds area. In this case you'll notice for aluminium we've already created one. In this case we specified a maximum depth of 8mm and a step over distance of 25mm. This is reflected in the toolpath itself. When we simulate, we have two toolpath passes. In this case, we can measure the vertical distance from this toolpath pass to the top of the stock, and you'll notice we get our 8 millimeters. The 45 degree tool, if I go into here, into the roughing, into the tool geometry here, this time we set the overrides and this has a depth of 3 millimeters and a step over of 15 millimeters. So even though the cut length of the tool is classed as 10, when I play this tool path, view to the side, again I'm just going to hide everything and measure the distance. Here you can see that 3mm cut depth. The final tool is the 10 degree insert. So rather than being set by an override, this one has two areas in the feeds and speeds. So it has aluminium, so this has quite a high feed rate and a 1.5mm cut depth. And you notice we have the P20 tool steel. This has a lower cut depth, lower feed rate, lower spindle speed. So again, playing the simulation, hiding everything except the toolpath, we can take a measurement of the cut depth. In this case you can see the 1.5mm. But because I have associated the cut depths with material type, I can go into the stock material, and in this case I'm going to set the material to be the tool steel. 
I'm going to select the P20. Say OK. Fast forward the toolpath. Notice that the cut depth is different from the previous. I can again measure this to verify that the cut depth has been automatically updated based on the material type that I've chosen. This is the new associated tool cutting data for FeatureCam 2012.